Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Bicons bead ring. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all of my social networks where you could share the works that you did following my tutorials you will also find a link to my second channel bijutel fast clips where i post fast clips of my most famous videos so you could go there and check it out and see a whole project in just two three minutes Okay, so what I wanted to tell you is that I have also have a tutorial for a necklace with the same pattern, but I just use different color scheme for this one, but it's done with the same pattern. And if you make the ring, it will be easy for you to make also the necklace. And I have a link here at the eye icon to see it. Okay, so uh, now uh, what I want to do is start the tutorial by showing the materials needed. Okay guys, so what I'm going to use for this video are 8 beads in silver color, 11 seed beads in silver color and these are 3 mm bicons in red color. I used 5 of them. You could use less or more depending on the band you are doing of your ring but now i will show you how i'm doing it with five this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could also use fire line don't use soft threads it won't look good on rings okay this is size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle. It might be enough for the whole ring, depending on how much you reinforce. But if it's not enough, I have a lot of tutorials where I'm showing how to add more thread. And I'm showing it at the necklace tutorial that I showed you in the beginning, so you could check it out from there if you don't know how to add more thread, I mean. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Okay guys, and now I have my thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up four of these beautiful Ato silver beads. Okay, I have four of them and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread, leaving a small tail here. And what I want to do is make a knot. And the easiest way to make a secure knot is to make here a loop and to go with my tail thread once and then second time you could also do three times around the loop and pull and then I'm going to make another knot and pull again. Okay, so now guys, this is what I have. And what I want to do next is go and reinforce these four beads. Okay, I'm making here a reinforcement. And now what I'm going to pick up is three silver beads. Okay, I'm taking them and I'm going back in circle through this one and by doing this I have a cross of four again but these crosses of four, these two elements, share this bead in the center. Okay, this is also called right angle weave 
as a stitch okay so now I have this and again guys I'm going to take three 80 beads just like this I'm going back here through this one and once again I'm reinforcing these four beads in across here because I want them to stay nice and tight. Okay guys, so I'm going to continue this until I have seven of those components or elements or crosses of four, whatever you call them. And then I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have seven elements like this. I reinforced the last one and I'm exiting here out of this bit. And now what I want to do is go through the first of those seven. I take one seed bead and I go through the following bead, okay? Then I take another eight o, go through the following, another one, go here through the following, one more, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And now I have six beads in between those seven components, okay? So now I'm going to do this at the other part of my work. I'm going here through these two beads in this direction. And again, what I do is take one and go through the following two and go through the following and continue these four more times okay and now i have the basis of my ring ready the basis without the ring band the central base okay so now what i want to do is to exit out of this bit that's sticking out a little bit that i added in my previous row okay this one here not the first one but the second one and what i'm going to take is one silver one eleven o and one silver eight o okay this is what i have and I'm going back through this one in circle. So when I pull, I have this beautiful cross of four beads again. Just one of them is a seed bead, okay? Then what I want to do here is go through two beads away from where I am. Through the one that's sticking out a little bit, okay? This one here. If you don't see my thread, I'm exiting out of this bit. And I'm going to take one 8 -o, one 11 -o. This time I'm taking two beads. Again, I'm making a cross of four, but I'm using this one here of my previous component and this one here in the center. And in this way, I still have four beads in a cross, one, two, three, four. But I'm using beads from the neighbor elements okay then i go through the next two beads and my goal is to exit out of the one that's sticking out and now what i need is one eight oh and one eleven oh and i'm going through these two beads here and if you can in one movement also go through the following two in this way you will save time okay just if you can't if you can okay now i'm taking two beads and i will repeat this continue two more times
okay guys and now I have this row ready and I will do my next row okay I'm transferring again at the other side of my work and again through this bit that's sticking out a little bit okay guys and now in this row what I'm going to do is to bend this part to the center of my work and in this way I will make the casing for the bicons that I'm going to be adding. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this bit that's sticking out, you see this one here, I'm going to take one ato and I'm going through this 11 o that's from my other side. When I go through it, my work will bend to the center and this is the wanted effect. You see what I have now? Now what I do is that I take one more ato and I go through this bit that I first was exiting out of. Not the first one of the row, but the second one. Okay. Now guys, when I pull, you see what I have something like a cool flower in the center with this seed bead sticking out of it okay here from this side you see how it looks three atos and one bead sticking out one seed bead sticking out and from this side i have absolutely the same thing three atos and one seed bead sticking out and now I'm going to continue the same way. I'm always exiting out of those beads that are a little bit sticking out of my work, okay? Or you could remember it by going one, two beads away from where you finished, okay? So now I'm going to take just one ato and until the end of this row, I'm going to take one ato. Okay, only at my first step I took first one, went through this and then another one. Okay, now I have this and I'm going through this 11 over here. Like I did in my previous step. Okay, the 11 over that's sticking out the most. And then I'm going through these two beads. This one is already here, so I'm not adding it, just going through it. And forming a cross of four. I'm forming a cross of four by adding just one bead because the other three are already there. So now I'm going through these two atos. And I need one ato. And I'm going again through the 11 now and through the 8 -o. I hope you understand me. Okay. Pull a little bit. Now you see what I have from this side. And here again what I do is that I go through the following two seed beads and exit out of the one that's sticking out the most. Okay guys, so this is pretty much what I'm doing here. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, so now I have the casing of my ring ready. I mean the casing where I'm going to add my bicons. And in order to add them, what I need is to go here 
through those beads just like this and to exit out of the first 11 now okay I have this now I have this and I'm going to take one bicon and go through the following 11 now okay and pull then one more and you see now i'm making this band that i want to do by pulling okay pull okay and i'm taking one more going through the following seed bead and i'm going to show you guys how to do this until the end of this row okay and here what i want to do is pull a little bit and make sure that when i have this band here the beads stay nice and tight in the center okay now what i want to do is reposition my thread so i could exit again through this bicon now i'm exiting out of this 11 no seed bead And I want to reposition my thread by going here through the neighbor Eto. And again, I want to exit out of this 11 0 and through my bicon. Okay, so this is what I have now. And now, guys, I'm going to do an additional thread pad to fix my bicon stay in a nice shape and i take one 11 0 go here in the following bicon one more go in the bicon and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay so now guys i have this i have the band of my ring almost ready and now i'm going to do the ring band just to imagine how it would look on my ring Okay, so now I'm going in this direction. Exit out of this bit. And here I'm going to start my ring band. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm taking here two 11 O's, sorry, eight O's, and I'm going back in circle through this one here okay then what i do is that i take another two atos and here what i'm going to do is the herringbone stitch it's really easy if you're not familiar with it don't worry i will show you step by step okay and here i, I want to do an additional step okay you see how it looks and I'm going to take one A2 and go here through this one. Okay. Then I'm going in this direction. Okay, pull. Turning my work because it's easier for me. Go in this direction. And go here. Now, guys, I'm going to take another 
HO and go here to this one. Okay, now I have this. And now, guys, I'm going to continue with my herringbone stitch. Okay, I'm taking two HOs, going back in this direction, pulling. Then go in this direction and go through the following two beads and pull again. So this is what I have. I will show you one more time. Okay, two, two beads. Go back. Okay, like this. Then go in this direction and go through the following two. Okay, so this is the herringbone and I will repeat it until I have here a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and repeat those steps until you have a long ring band. Okay, I'll be back in a while. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, here I am where I'm making the 14th row of my ring. And this is what I have. This is the 14th row. And now guys, I'm going here and I will attach it to the other part of my work, okay? You could make a longer or a smaller ring band with less or more rows depending on your finger size, okay? So now I'm going through this 11 over here that's sticking out. And then I'm going through these two. Uh, sorry, eight toes. These are eight toes, not eleven toes. And I'm going back here through these two beads. And I take an eight toe. And add again those additional beads here. that are connecting the main part of my ring with the bicons with the basis of my ring, the ring band. Okay. And now guys, you could go and reinforce this joint as well as the ring band as many times as you want. And when you're ready, you find a place to make a knot. Okay. Okay guys, and I almost have my ring ready. So how I'm doing this. First, I make a loop. And I go once. Then I go second time through the loop I've made, I pull. And I could repeat this step several more times to have more and more knots and everything to be nice, tight and secure. Okay, so when I'm ready, I take, 
I go through the following seed bead, take my scissors and cut my thread. And now guys, my ring is ready. Okay guys, so now my Bicons beaded ring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done, like I did this necklace that I'm linking here at the eye icon. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could share the pictures of the works that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages that you could found, find down there in description. And down there in description, you will also find a full list of materials linked to my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips, where I showed my most famous tutorials in just two, three minutes. And you could decide if you feel like making them or not and just to save time and enjoy the process of creations. So if you want, go there and check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and being with me. Bye-bye.